Good morning and welcome to today's Facecast. Today we've moved forward into the New Testament and we're looking at the New Testament letter um, of Hebrews, the letter to the Hebrews. Now the opening verse of chapter 11 tells us what this whole book is about. It's not the verse I'm going to read today, although I'm going to read it. Uh, this is a bit confusing. Um, so listen to this verse first anyway. The opening verse of chapter 11 of Hebrews says, Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. So this gives us a bit of background about this letter. The letter is all about the question of faith, trusting and believing in something, even though you don't yet see it or understand it. With that in mind, the writer to the Hebrews, that is those who are scattered around different places, um, he's writing to them, telling them that the situation they're in, basically as refugees, wherever they find themselves, is not uncommon for the people of Israel. The Israelites of old, he's telling them, and he refers back to them, which we'll read in a moment, the Israelites of old were scattered around different parts of the world. And they had to come to terms with that. Then a bit later on in this chapter, he writes this. They admitted that they were aliens and strangers on earth. People who say sh such things show that they are looking for a country of their own. If they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have had the opportunity to return. Instead, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. That's a small extract of a long passage that talks about these alien people, dispersed people. And we hear quite a bit today, don't we, about people who are refugees, who are moving from one country to another to try and find a better life. And we may well feel sorry for them. We may feel uh, upset for we might feel compassion for them. But hopefully we don't feel contemptuous of them or wishing they didn't make their home in our country. Thank you very much. That wouldn't be the right attitude, would it? Because we're all aliens and refugees in one sense or another, especially when it comes to thinking spiritually. Do we belong in this world, this world which has become so self-centred, so um, otherworldly, so full of contempt for things spiritual? Do we, do we belong in that world or do we belong in a world that God would have us live in, which is a world of compassion and kindness and concern and love? Guess which one I would plump for. Well, in order to do that, in order to live that life, we need to be looking at and reading this big lump of a book and understanding what it says and how we should be living then we, like the people who's, who are being written about here, won't be strangers and aliens in this world, but we will be um, missionaries, if you like. We will be people on a journey through this life in order to show other people a better life. That's not a bad job, is it? Travelling through this life in order to say to other people around us and to say to ourselves and our friends and family, you know what, there's something better out there. Following Jesus is better than not following Jesus. Have a go at it. It's good fun. It's great. There's, there are, there's a better life out there, perhaps, than the one that we've been living. Well, we can say these things and do these things, but we also need to display these things by the way that we live. And we're in a period at the moment where things are a bit odd, a bit unusual, a bit back to front. And indeed, we're the opposite of aliens. We're the opposite of people being... Uh, cast aside, we're, we're people who are stuck in our own home, in our own place of comfort. It's not that we are uh, restless, if you'll pardon that. Uh, we are people who are rather stuck where we are and can't express ourselves wider or deeper. In such a time, we're forced to go inwards, inside to something. And that gives us the opportunity to look at some of these questions about who are we? What's the point of life? Why are we living this life? What's it really all about? And while we're stuck at home 
It's an opportunity to pick up the big book and take a look at it and read through it and get to grips with it and understand it. And if there's something you don't understand, there's this nice little trick that I've learned. I'll share it with you. It's called the internet and you can find out things on there about this book. So there's your project for today. Read one of the letters in the, don't start with Hebrews, you'll, you'll get lost. Read one of the gospels or one of the letters in the New Testament, then go on the internet and find somebody who says something about it that makes sense. That'll take up most of your day. Bye for now.